Hello everyone, and welcome to another Redstone video. Or, not really. Uh, this is a project I've been working on for the last few weeks. I'm trying to make the ultimate Redstone world. Now, uh, I'm sort of going to be using this video as an opportunity to explain how this works, and also to ask uh, you guys in the comments to leave me suggestions for what sort of things you, as redstoners, might want to have in such a, a world. Um, so yeah, leave all those suggestions in the comments and that will be really, really helpful. And if I like them, they will be added to the command blocks. So, uh, how this world works is the player should ideally never have to leave this central platform here. The reason for this is this book I've got in my inventory here. Um, you can see on the first page we've got some various like time stuff, you know, you can sort of turn lines to make and set it to, to sunrise and stuff like that. But um, uh, on the next page I will get to, on the next page we have game rules, fairly self explanatory, and then we have the status effects. So, this page here is what makes this world unique from any other world I've seen before, really. And that's because it has this sort of save load project feature. So each project, whenever you, you start a, a new project, you will just go into your book, go new projects, and it will create a new button down here on your uh, project panel. You can then put a change the sign on the button um, to say like, oh, this is a 5x5 uh, five five door I'm going to try and achieve. Well, I'm not, I can't do 5x5 five five doors, but you might be able to. So uh, that would be your project, and it would give you a, a clean slate like this here, and you can start building. So you would, you would start designing something here, and then when you got to a point where you feel like the design you had was good, but you might want to start again from scratch, or perhaps you just made like a proof of concept. What you could do is you could say, save to position. So you could save what you've built to one of the platforms. Of course I don't have anything built now, but if I had it would have cloned in the build to the red platform. Um, and yeah, you can just do that for each of the platforms, and you could do like, a proof of concept and then like uh, compacting the design and then like the final design or you could do different circuits to it so you might have like all the, the for the 5x5 door for example you might have the the top section the sides and the bottom section and then all together um, for example that would be the arrangement of your builds so yeah, I think this is really, really useful. Um, yeah, you can also uh, load from the builds if you want to edit them. And yeah, that's basically how this all works. And then you can click Save Project, and it will save these five platforms here. Not the this build one here, just the five there. It will save it to the Project Storage area, which is over here. So, oh, uh, world struggling to load. Yeah, so this is the project storage area, and it will have all of your projects lined up going in this direction from one to whatever, however many you have. Um, and I think this world's storage capacity is 3,808, um, because that's the max size of the select panel. But yeah, this will be where all your projects are stored, um, and you can visit them, you can also edit them just manually in here if you want to do that. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice way of keeping record of all of your builds in a very, um, yeah, very, like, not messy way. I mean, a lot of people's redstone worlds are, like, very messy. There's builds all over the place. There's failed contraptions. There's all kinds of um, stuff like that, which, you know, are a bit awkward when you want to try and find a specific project um, to build in survival world for example. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, I'll say it again, leave them in the comments, I'd be really interested to hear about them. And if you are excited for this and you think it will be useful, uh, please leave a like, 
and subscribe for more content and I will see you next week, hopefully with the full release of this map.